you know, Buffett talks about having bought dollars for 50 cents. And he really did, because nobody else knew what, which end was up, you know? Uh, I would say I bought some dollars for 60 cents. Uh, I, I can't find those anymore. Uh, and, and Andrew made the point that readily available quantitative information about the present can't help you be superior as an investor, it, or it's not sufficient to be superior. You have to work with that stuff. You have to understand it and process it, but it's not enough because everybody else has it readily available and it's quantitative so everybody can process it. And it's about the present, so there's no conjecture, no uncertainty, no vagary. So readily available quantitative information about the present cannot hold the secret to being a superior investor. It has to be something else. And what could those things be? Mm -hmm. You have to do a better job of uh, understanding uh, the import of those, uh, of those data. You have to do a better job of evaluating the qualitative, the quality of the CEO, the quality of the product, the likelihood that the company will be able to follow a, pro a successful product with another successful product, uh, the quality of the accounting, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Or you have to be better at understanding the future. So in, I wrote a memo called Investing Without People mm -hmm. in which I talked about what will happen with AI and, and, and so forth, and, and machine learning and so forth. And it'll profoundly change our business and it'll put the hacks out of business. But I don't think that it will replace the best investors because the best investors are the people, I said in the memo, I don't think that a computer can meet five executives and figure out which one's the next Steve Jobs. I don't think it can look at five business plans and figure out which is the next Amazon. These are subjective judgments about the future, not based on past data. How's the computer going to get the information to make these decisions? Now, what computers do is they handle a lot of data. They handle it fast. They don't make mistakes. Uh, they don't make computational mistakes. And they don't make emotional mistakes. So that's a pretty good list. That'll put a lot of people out of business in, in, in the investment business. But it will not, in my opinion, make, enable a computer to be the, the, the Warren Buffett of, of its day, shall we say. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.